the colors show up a little bit brighter on the camera. Uh, but the important thing I wanted to show was you can see the fields rotating. You can also see the wiping um, field in the center. And all I'm going to do on this video is adjust the volume control of the amplifier. Right now my sinusoidal waveform shows 16 volts peak to peak. As I adjust higher, the sinusoidal waveform disappears into a spiked waveform, which, which I won't show. Seventeen volts. I'm sorry, I, was start, I started out at fourteen volts, it's now fifteen volts. Sixteen volts. Seventeen volts. And you'll see that the color gets brighter too. Eighteen volts. It drops back down to 17 volts. So there, at 18 volts, very good color definition on this. But you can see at this volume, there's it, it, it's like moving, it's like moving back and forth like this. See. And this is an iron core device. See the sweeping? So if we put the volume at the right level, it begins to spin. And I lowered it to 16 volts on this one here. You can see the spinning, yeah. So it's got an adjustment to do with the field size um, working between the different sides of the coil. This is in a bucking formation. I call it the Tesla swastika because of the way the, uh, the, co the because of the way the coils crisscross. So these two are being fired this way, and these two are being fired that way. So this is the it, this is my reasoning as to why SM had the potentiometer on the TPU, which he did not adjust in the demo. At all. You never seen him adjust it. You never seen him talk about it. But there was a potentiometer on the front of the uh, the SM17, the, lar the large TPU, the big black ring. That's all for this test.